According to OpenAI, only 7% of business owners and professional users are using ChatGPT to its full potential. I don't have the statistics for Bard, but I assume they're pretty similar, which means 93% of people who are actually using ChatGPT are only using it for basic tasks, like translations, summaries, and basic text functions. That's pretty crazy when you think that the platform has over 100 million weekly users. The good news is that the doors are wide open to differentiate yourself and level up your game. The bad news is that if you don't, somebody else will. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT against itself to develop and refine the ultimate prompt for your own specific needs. I'm also going to give you a one minute crash course on the components that make up a good prompt. You know the saying about giving a man a fish versus teaching him to fish? Well, that definitely applies to this video. Let me hand you the rod. You see, ChatGPT is only as good as the prompt you give it. Prompt engineering is going to be one of the hottest in-demand skills, and the smartest companies I've worked with and spoken with have already started exploring and investing in how they can level up their AI prompt IP and improve their productivity. For those that don't know me, I'm Declan Kirk. I used to work at Salesforce and IBM, and I currently work for an AI marketing consultancy. And on this channel, we help professionals and solopreneurs leverage AI and technology. Let's get to it. So what makes a good prompt? To consistently generate high quality outputs, it's essential to grasp the six crucial components of prompt engineering. In other words, the six things that make up a good prompt. These are task, that's the objective of what you want to achieve, context, which is the background, exemplars or examples, persona, in other words, the character or person you're doing this for, format, which is the structure, and tone, or in other words, style. Interestingly, these are listed out in decreasing importance, with task and context being the most important, and format and tone being the least important. So we're going from the most important up here to the least important down here. Now this bit's important. With your prompt, what you want to do is provide just enough relevant information and context to create meaningful prompts without overwhelming ChatGPT or Bard or whatever it is that you're using. To help with this, I typically try to make sure that my prompt covers what success looks like, what my or the user's background is, and also the environment that they're in. So that's success, background, and environment. Now you see a lot of the research and findings at the moment is that providing exemplars or examples are particularly powerful here because the AI can start to learn and understand what it is that you're looking for. Incorporating relevant examples or frameworks can be a game changer for effective prompt engineering. By providing clear examples, you guide the AI system, that's ChatGBT, Bard or Bing or whatever it is you're using, to understand and deliver responses that align with your specific needs. Okay, let's get to it. Right, so what you first do is you open up ChatGBT like we can see here, um, I've got the paid version, which is ChatGPT4. I'm guessing probably not everyone has that, so I'm going to show you this working with 3.5. Um, I've got an, I'll make another video if it's of interest. Let me know in the comments below where I compare what 3.5 and 4 does. Um, but effectively, what you do is open up ChatGPT, um, and then you take the prompt. This is linked down in the description. Um, so if you click through, you can get this prompt. You copy the prompt here, and then you paste it into ChatGPT. And what this effectively is doing is telling ChatGPT to now coach you into developing a prompt. So what do we want our prompt to be about? Okay, so craft a comprehensive marketing plan for startups specializing in toothbrushes designed specifically for dogs. That's the prompt it's given us. But it's got to load more questions. So thinking back, obviously we spoke about how we need to in, in, uh, tell it what success looks like, what the background is, and also the environment we're operating in. So task, thinking most importantly around the task and the context, potentially an example, um, and maybe not so much about format and tone, but obviously that is important as well. So what it's asking us is, can you provide more details about your startup, such as name, mission, and unique selling points? A few moments later. Stick that in, and it now gives a revised prompt. Now this is probably all we need to do, because we've got that success background, and we've got a little bit more about the environment it's operating in. If we go into too much more detail than that, we could start to get a bit restrictive, but let's have a look. So the prince is saying, develop a detail marketing plan. Now, I think there's a piece of information missing from this, which is what our marketing budget is. So that's something that, again, this is kind of augmented intelligence. You having a look and seeing whether this is something we can add, but let's see whether the prompts now ask us for it before we submit this. So kind of writing for audition about specific features. So again, that would maybe help a little bit. I don't know if you take the social media platforms. 
guidelines for selecting influencers. There we go, number four. Do you have any budget constraints or considerations that should be taken into account? So I actually think in this instance, it's probably good to actually go through and give it that little bit more information, thinking around the success, the background and environment, because what we're doing is refining that just that little bit more. So I actually take it back. I think in this case, we should do it. So let's do it. A few moments later. So we submitted that, kind of revised prompt. And again, it's up to us when we stop this. Again, I think this is probably gonna be enough now. Let's have a look. Um, do I have a detailed marketing plan for Dogproof Brush Co. A startup that gets things for promoting canine dental health through their environmentally friendly toothbrushes that are designed to taste great for dogs, targeting millennials with disposable income. Uh, the goal is to sell 40,000 units via Instagram and other social media channels, leveraging the company's 8,000 pound budget. The plan is to differentiate dog toothbrush co from competitors like pets at home, emphasizing unique features of the product and strategies for achieving sales goals. Additionally, the plan should include tactics for engaging customers and building brand loyalty beyond direct sales. I think that's pretty good. Let's stick that into a new window and a new chat and see what happens. So here we go, new chat, stick it in and Got an executive summary, that's pretty good. We got the strategies. Concept marketing, email strategies, implement partnership. I think that's pretty good, considering that's taken what, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes to create. I think that's a pretty good marketing plan. If you found this video useful, I highly recommend you watch my video on what an NFT is here and consider subscribing to get more video content like this. Thanks and I'll see you there.